to Healthy Food Happy You. Today we're going to be with guest Brandi Rito, founder of Life with Spice Wellness. She is a health coach and cooking instructor and today we're going to be making a delicious live lasagna and a creamy raw kale salad that is perfect for your summer get together. Let's welcome Brandy to our show. Thank you so much for being here, Brandy. Thanks for having me, Gina. So what are we going to be making first? Um, we're going to start with the creamy raw kale salad. And to start this dish, which like you said, is a very um, light, healthy dish for summer, we're going to start by um, tearing the kale from the stem, which I've already done here. Um, so basically, you're just going to tear the kale in, in large pieces. You want to um, use a, a big bunch of kale, which will eventually cook down quite a bit. So um, make sure you have plenty of room in the bowl. We're going to start to break the kale down with a little bit of lemon juice. We'll break the kale down or kind of cook it down with our hands by just squeezing it gently. Take out the day's stress. Exactly. <laughs> and as you can see, it starts to get really bright in color, just the same way as if you were steaming it. The lemon juice also helps to break down some of the bitterness that, um, that's associated with kale and other leafy green vegetables. And it helps us to access the wonderful nutrition that's available in the kale. Kale is a very rich source of vitamin K, calcium, and it's a cruciferous vegetable, so it has a lot of antioxidants in it as well. And this is another way that you can kind of break it down is just to kind of wring it a little sure. bit. The way we're going to make it creamy is by adding some avocado. <sighs> Love avocado. Me too. Usually when you um, pick an avocado in the store, you don't want it to have any green um, parts on it at all. You want it to be pretty black in color and you want it to be tender to the touch but not mushy and not have any major dents in it. Um, dents can indicate that your avocado is bruised. Do you feel how yeah. soft it is but not too soft? Yeah, that's good to know. I know I, for one, struggle with, okay, what does it need to look like? How do I even cut these things or prepare these? Yep, so I'm going to show you um, how to cut it. So you can use a small knife or a large knife. It doesn't really matter, but what you're going to do is you're just going to get it started, and there's a really nice big pit mm -hmm. in the middle of the avocado. Um, once you insert your knife, you just kind of want to rest it against that pit and turn your avocado around. Once you've cut it all the way through, you're just going to tilt your knife very easily and it comes apart. And that's a really Beautiful. nice avocado, isn't it? So um, after that, you're just going to pluck the little seed with the edge of your knife. We're going to use the spoon to scoop it right out. Toss that. See, once you know all these little insider tricks, it makes it so easy. And fun. And yeah, not as intimidating to get in the kitchen and really try these things out. Well, Life with Spice Wellness is all about having fun in the kitchen. Um, we really believe that you're not going to do anything unless it's fun. So. That's true. So the next few ingredients for our kale salad are going to be some scallions, which I've already chopped. We're going to add some chopped sun-dried tomatoes. And we're also going to add some nutritional yeast. Nutritional yeast um, is a really good source of vitamin B12, mm -hmm. which is essential for a vegan diet if you choose to be vegan. Um, this is one of the nutrients that you, well, not nutritional yeast itself, but the B12 that's found in the right. nutritional yeast is one of the nutrients that's lacking in a vegan diet. And this sure. is one of the ways to get it. And it actually adds a lot of really nice flavor to the dish as well. It's almost like a Parmesan is what I think of it as. Mm -hmm. I put it on popcorn. It's a great way to add vitamins to pastas. And yeah, definitely. And it has a really, um, a really nice flavor. I'm going to use a little bit of tamari. Now, can you overdo this? Yes, tamari is uh, like a soy sauce, so it can be very salty. Mm -hmm. So if you're salt sensitive, um, you may want to use a reduced sodium sure. version um, or um, just use a little bit less. I'm also going to use a little bit of olive oil. Okay. 
I love cooking with olive oil, and these colors are so pretty. Isn't that nice? Really and then great presentation. And then we're just going to finish um, mixing and breaking it down with a couple of spoons and really mix it in there good. And get your kids involved in it too because I find that when kids cook um, with you, even if it's something like a kale salad, mm -hmm. just because they had a hand in cooking it, they enjoy it a lot I more. Agree. Yeah, this is a wonderful salad for really anyone to make, whether you're following a vegan diet, vegetarian diet, newsflash salads are vegetarian most of the time. Um, so this is a wonderful salad for anyone to enjoy at a party and very colorful, the smell is wonderful, and the nutritional benefits, can't beat it. Exactly, um, and it's especially a good salad for balancing. If you do have a meat-based diet, it's a great salad for balancing it out. It's very rich in fiber and vitamin K, which is actually great for um, making the blood more fluid, thinning mm -hmm. the blood out a little bit. So it's great if you um, have hypertension. Sure. Well, I think, are we ready to start making the live lasagna mm -hmm. to pair with this? We're going to take a break and prepare our ingredients, and we'll be back in a few. We're back with Brandy Rito, and we are ready to make our, our sauce for the live lasagna. That's right. And so what we're going to start with for our sauce, of course, is tomatoes. I have some chopped Roma tomatoes. These are the um, elongated Italian-type tomatoes. And uh, I have four here quartered. I'm going to add some fresh spices. Um, Life with Spice is all about adding spice to food. This is parsley. Parsley has some amazing health benefits. It's known for freshening the breath. This mm -hmm. is something that you chew Absolutely. to freshen the breath. But also it has really great digestive um, benefits as well as it helps to dissolve tumors in the body and cysts. So mm -hmm. parsley is something that you definitely don't want to just decorate your plate with. You want to get it in every day if you can. Yeah. Um, the other spices we're going to use are oregano, fresh oregano. This is what it looks like on the stem. And some fresh basil. And when you're using your food processor, you, can, you don't really have to chop things down. The food processor does a lot of the work for you, especially when you're using something juicy like tomatoes. That'll help to break it down. Sure. Now, like I was saying before, Life with Spice is all about adding spice. Yeah. Because when you add spice to food, you have a tendency to rely less on sugar and salt, mm -hmm. which are some of the pitfalls found in the typical American diet. I love that you're showing us how to do this and what spices go with what. Because I think for me, especially when I started cooking, I was so intimidated with all of the ingredients out there. Definitely. So it's, you just don't do it because the unknown is scary. Well, because we're making a lasagna, mm -hmm. we're going to be using some traditional Italian spices. Yeah. But if you like a more uh, warm flavor, thyme could be also used okay, uh, in this sauce as well. So these are sun-dried tomatoes. They've been soaked and chopped, and I'm going to add those as well. I'm going to add a couple of cloves of garlic. We're going to add a little bit of salt and a little bit of cayenne pepper. Mm. Mm -hmm, a little spicy. Mm -hmm. And a little bit of olive oil. Now for raw food preparation, really the main tools you're going to be using are your food processor to make different things like raw pâtés out of nuts and things mm -hmm. and all the different sauces you're going to make. So um, I love my food processor. Okay. So we're just going to give this a whirl. So you want to blend it for about four minutes, four to five minutes, and the sauce should be a little bit chunky still. Looks beautiful. But pretty smooth. I love those colors that really show through. This is a very pretty meal. Doesn't it smell delicious? Wow, it smells wonderful. It makes me so hungry. Cannot wait. And I love how you just throw it in the food processor. And it's done. And it's done. Okay. So there's our sauce for the lasagna. The next nice. thing we're going to make is our cashew cheese. All right, stand by. We'll be right back. Brandy is now going to show us how to do the cheese for the live lasagna. That's right. So what we're going to be making is a cashew cheese. And how we start, um, 
the cheese is by soaking cashews. You can soak them overnight. Really, you only want to soak them between four hours and overnight. And what you're going to see is they're going to puff up a little bit. They're going to swell. This is going to soften them and get them ready for the culturing process. So after you soak your cashews, you're going to blend them two to one ratio. So if you do a cup of cashews, you're going to do a half a cup of water and blend that up. Okay? Easy enough. Yep. Dump them in a cup. Forget about them overnight, and yep. they're ready in the morning. And they're ready in the morning, and you're just going to blend them in your food processor. Now, after you do that, that starts the culturing process. You're going to put them in a jar, and you're going to put them in a nice, warm, dark place okay. so the bacteria can start to grow. This sure. is good bacteria. Good bacteria. Do not be scared of this Don't bacteria. Don't be scared of the bacteria. <laughs> it's good for this you. Is, this is the bacteria that helps you to digest your food sure. and get Much more like from your Much like in yogurt. Food. Exactly. Like probiotics. Exactly. Right. So um, that's what cultured foods do for you. Now how long do you need to let it Now you can sit. let it culture anywhere from overnight to three or four days. And what you'll notice is that um, air pockets will start okay. to form. It'll start to rise a little bit, almost like a sure. yeast. I think I can see some of that in mm -hmm. there, the air yeah. pockets in here. That's right. Okay, so that's what we're looking for. Mm -hmm. That's exactly right. And so after you've, you're done culturing your cashews, what you're going to do is put them back in the food processor, and this is where you're going to start to flavor sure. them, add some ingredients to add some flavor. Now, does the culturing change the tanginess of it? Does it make it a little bit more tangy? It so does. So the more tangy you like your food, the longer longer you need to exactly I know a lot of people who are um, worried about their cholesterol try to stay away from dairy as much as possible so this is a really great healthy alternative for enjoying your cheese and getting your cholesterol down as well that's right um, cashews are also a great source of copper, which is also an important mineral in helping the absorption of iron. Mm -hmm. And a lot of women who suffer from iron um, anemia mm -hmm. um, would do good to add some yeah. cashews and, and other nuts into their diet. Okay. I know a lot of women that, that can help out, so I will share that advice. So to our cashew cheese, just to give it a little bit of color, we're going to add some red bell pepper. And I, I love the colors, the salad, the sauce, the cheese. It's so delicious looking. So what I've added is some scallions, chopped scallions, as well as salt. And I'm going to add a little cayenne pepper. OK. OK. And we're just going to blend this up, make sure it's all down there. And you may need to add just a little touch of water to get it going. Sure. We're going to blend now for about three minutes okay. here. So after your ingredients are pretty smooth and, and well blended, mm -hmm. you're going to add just a little bit of lemon juice, just for the flavor, to give it a sure. little bit more tang. And we're going to blend it again. All right, Brandy. So we are not going to be using traditional noodles for this lasagna. No, we're right? not. This is a live lasagna, so everything in it is raw and living. Love it. And of course, you know the benefit of eating living foods Absolutely. is that you're going to get all the enzymes that help you to digest even the cooked foods you eat a lot better. Right. So for this live lasagna, we're going to be using two different types of live noodles. We're going to be using zucchini, and we're going to be using portobello mushroom. Okay, um, This is the wonderful portobello mushroom that we're going to be using. So you're going to take off the first layer of your zucchini. Okay, and it doesn't have to be a perfect peel. Sure. You just want it to be a rough peel. We want some of that um, wonderful green mm -hmm. um, peel to be on there because that's where a lot of the fiber and the nutrition can be found. And then what we're going to do is very slowly make some noodles, okay? You want to do this very slowly. You don't want to rush because you want them to be as thick as possible. Okay. Okay, so that's what our noodles are looking like. And then once we get down to the seedy portion of the zucchini, uh, once we're, we've exposed the seeds, we want to just rotate it. This would be a fun project for an older kid to help out with. Definitely. And because we don't want our lasagna to be too juicy, mm -hmm. what we're going to do is 
in effect, blot our noodles. Okay. Okay, so after you pill, after you make your zucchini noodles, you're gonna just put them in a paper towel and let them dry out. That way, when we assemble our lasagna, it's not too juicy. Again, little tricks of the trade yes. that once you learn, you become a pro. Mm -hmm. In order to use the portobello mushroom, what we want to do is get rid of the spores, the little brown part that's inside. So we're just going to scoop that out. Sure. And it can be a little bit of a messy process, but well worth it because we don't want that brown part um, kind of marring the color of okay. our lasagna. And we're also going to break that stem out of there too. Done with this? Yep. Get rid of that too. Okay, and then we're gonna start to thinly slice a mushroom. It's really important that you have a sharp knife here because we want the pieces to be pretty thin. Okay. But also we want them to not break. Right. So a sharp knife is gonna guarantee that your noodles come out pretty whole. And that's what they that's what they're gonna look like. And this is the okay. the final product. The final product. Okay. Beautiful. And now we're ready to assemble our lasagna. So you um, you can make it as big or as small as you want. This family, is going to be a family size, <laughs> single size. Exactly. This is going to be a personal size lasagna. And what we're going to do is we're going to start with a layer of our zucchini noodles. I love how this whole thing can be done within 30 minutes. Yeah. 30 minutes you have dinner. No baking, no slaving over the stove. That's right. And then we're going to use some of our cashew cheese. It's great to do this with a spatula because mm -hmm. we want to we make sure we have a nice smooth layer. So we're going to just smooth that down there. A little bit more. Okay, and then we're gonna do a layer of our mushrooms. I like to do them going in the same direction mm -hmm. as the zucchini because it makes it a lot easier to cut. Sure. Okay, so that's our layer of zucchini. Then we'll do a layer of our tomato sauce. Mm. Looks wonderful. Isn't that beautiful? And you don't have to season the zucchini or anything because all the flavor is going to be in the sauce and the cheese, just like it is when, you, when you're making your cooked version. Okay, and we'll do another layer of the zucchini. So we're going to be alternating um, the layers. So we'll do a layer of zucchini with the cheese and then a layer of the mushrooms and then top that with the sauce until you basically fill your dish. So we have made our salad, we've made our lasagna and our cheese and our sauce and Brandy's gonna show just us how to finish, finish it, it off. off. Yeah, that's right. So um, we're just gonna add a little bit of basil to garnish the, the lasagna. You're gonna end your lasagna, the last layer should be the portobello mushrooms and the sauce, okay? So we're just gonna... anything I could wish for the audience to have, uh -huh. it's the smell that Isn't we it get, very to fragrant? get to experience. Yeah. So wonderful. So, excuse me. So, um, so we'll finish it off that way with a little bit of basil and mm, we'll beautiful. go ahead and, would you like to try it? Sure, I'd okay. love to try it. That's what I've been waiting for. Just give you a little slice. Yeah. Now it's not the easiest thing to get out. What's important is when your guests start arriving that it's all perfect and pretty and then you then you dig in. Don't but worry about it. All we it. really care about is whether it tastes good. That's right. Okay. So yeah, it's still go. beautiful. Mm -hmm. Love it. And then we're gonna have a little bit of kale salad with that. We have a fork. I'm going to be creative and use a spoon. <laughs> okay. Isn't that beautiful? This is gorgeous. I mean, perfect for summer parties, a romantic picnic. Wonderful. Let's try this out. Mmm, this looks so good. 
Mm. Instantly. All those okay. flavors are just incredible. Try the kale. Mm -hmm. It's wonderful. Perfect Is match. it a hit? It's a hit. Thank you so much, Brandy. This is amazing, Brandy. Thank you so much. It'd be perfect for a dinner party or a romantic picnic in the park. And you know that you're doing something good for your body, too. And that always right. makes you feel a little bit better. So thank you so much, Brandy, from Life with Spice Wellness. You can find her on lifewithspice.com. And if you want the recipe as well, you can look up healthyfoodhappyyou.com and we will have that ready for you. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Welcome back to Healthy Food Happy You. We're here again with Brandy Rito, founder of Life with Spice Wellness. You can look her up on lifewithspice.com. Brandy, thank you so much for that wonderful lasagna and salad. I really can't wait to try that out at home. And Tell us where your inspiration for Life with Spice came from. Um, thank you, Gina. Um, my inspiration for Life with Spice um, really comes from being a health coach and teaching cooking demos for a number of years and finding that food was just a very small piece in the wellness equation. Right. Um, a lot of people, even when they're eating healthy food, they're overeating. And so what I found is that people eat because there's something missing from their life. And what I think is missing is the spice. And so that's my whole philosophy is, you know, you add something fun and fulfilling, and then you don't turn to food as much for comfort. And um, what I really love about cooking is that that is even spice. When you cook for yourself, you, um, you feel connected with your food, you get excited about what you're going to eat, and you have so much control over what goes into the food. And um, as Life with Spice, what we do is we try to substitute um, spice, actual real spice from the garden or from the sure. store, fresh herbs, um, peppers, and things like that to jazz up the food and make it more exciting so you're not adding as much salt and pepper as well. Yeah, I love that. And you host events for mm -hmm. corporate offices, and I know for myself, when I was a manager, I had trouble finding things that did team building, mm -hmm. but also, Corporations now are wanting to save money on health care, and so this is a great team building opportunity, and it can show your coworkers how to eat healthier, live healthier, less stressed lives, add a little spice to their life. That's right. Great opportunity mm -hmm. um, for I, husbands uh -huh. as well, husbands, <laughs> to find a little romantic class to do with your wife, uh -huh. cooking, and... What That's other right. types of events do you have for people that need a little spice? Yeah, um, so definitely corporate wellness is something that's on the rise. Corporations are realizing that um, they can't just rely on the medical system to keep their employees well. And um, cooking demos, as well as um, weight loss challenges and things like that, um, really help to boost morale, show their employees that the company really cares about them, um, as well as it decreases absenteeism. Right. So I do a lot of that. Some of the other events that I do are things like nutrition clubs. I host gardening days. We do meditative walks. We have days in the park where we might put up a volleyball net or do just like a football scrimmage. Just really fun stuff to kind of add um, spice. Like I said, Get add out of some the flavor. Hum and do you Definitely. And you know, there's nothing that I like better than eating food fresh out of the garden. Mm -hmm. And so um, really helping people to kind of see where their food comes from, what real food actually looks like, helping them to grow it from seed to plate, sure. <laughs> basically. So um, real food is not out of a box or a can or a... <laughs> exactly. Um, and just showing people that you haven't been eating real food all right. this time, you know. Real food comes from the ground. Um, even um, if you're, if you are someone who chooses to eat meat, you want that meat to be fed on real food, mm -hmm. you know, um, so that everything that you're eating is, is natural and really doing something good for your body. Yeah. You 
eat, what, uh, describe your diet because you are healthy and beautiful and glowing yeah. and I can tell you are a very happy person. <laughs> so share, share this secret yeah, with us. Yeah, definitely. Well, um, I shun labels. I like to call myself a human, not a vegan or a vegetarian. Um, just because I find that when you label yourself, it kind of puts a barrier up between you and other people and especially as a health coach I want people to see that you can eat a healthy plant-based diet without being from another planet so um, so oftentimes I um, work with clients to transition them from a meat-based diet to a plant-based diet but I never tell them hey you have to give up meat or anything like that because I believe it's all about balance sure. thank you Brandy for being here today it was so good having you on the show and you really showed us that eating is fun it doesn't have to be restrictive. Um, you can, you are what you eat. So eating those healthy foods really shows in your life. And add a little spice and um, de-stressing. And it's you know the the balance of your life. Um, food isn't everything. Work isn't everything. You just gotta kind of balance everything out. And you can look her up on lifewithspice.com. Please go to her website. She's got so many fabulous activities for you to add some spice to your life. And also healthyfoodhappyyou.com will have the recipe from today's show mm -hmm. and a YouTube clip from our show today as well. So more info for you there. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time on Healthy Food, Happy You.